When um, a patient uh, presents with leukaemia, the bone marrow is packed with leukemic cells. But uh, once the proportion of leukemic cells drops below about 1%, you can't detect them by eye. But you need more sensitive detection. Droplet digital PCR is a new technology for measuring target DNA concentration with incredible precision and sensitivity. By partitioning samples into thousands or up to millions of uniform droplets, Droplet Digital PCR helps researchers measure what they could not measure before. In Southern Australia, Dr. Alec Morley is now applying this technology in his research. The essence of digital PCR is that you have to perform multiple replicates. Droplet Digital PCR enables you to do this, to produce the replicates each replicate is a droplet. You get 20,000 uh, droplets uh, set up in a few minutes and read in a short time. You can look at tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of droplets in an automated way. It strikes me as a very good way of doing it, this idea that you'd split something up into droplets and you'd then basically put them through a fax machine. The question we're really trying to answer is whether using DNA as the target for quantifying the BCR-able translocation and thus monitoring chronic myeloid leukaemia, whether that will be an improvement against using RT-PCR. And we hope that a drop the digital PCR will enable us to provide a more precise uh, quantification And very, very happy that it enables, uh, you know, enables one to answer questions. I just like solving problems. That's why I like technology, because it helps you answer something. Formulate the question and then go and get the piece of technology that will enable you to answer it. The droplet digital PCR systems from BioRad have already enabled researchers to publish important findings in areas such as cancer biomarker discovery, infectious diseases, and genomic variation. In choosing bet between different instruments, one really needs to look at what one's specific needs are. The, the BioRed was, uh, it, it does what we want at, at the level of sensitivity that we need, and it's quick. So it was, a, it was the obvious choice. If you can now measure what you could not measure before, what story will you tell?